With OS X 10.9 Mavericks, you can now tag files. Why can tagging be important to you? It can help you find and organize files. Let's first take a look at the default tags. I'm going to click on the Finder window, go to the Finder menu, and select Preferences. The Tags icon selected, you can see the default structure of the tags labeled red, orange, yellow with the corresponding color and you have work, home, and important at the bottom of this list. Colorful names can be changed to make tagging a little more descriptive. So let's take red and click on it and change that to personal. Be forewarned that any previously applied labeling will get renamed. I've gone ahead and relabeled the seven colorful tags. Also in the Finder's Preferences at the bottom of this window you'll see the list of favorites. This list of favorites, these seven items, also show up at the bottom of any Finder window. But also take notice of these checkboxes off to the right of the tags. This was the first time I'd run Mavericks, so some of the checkboxes actually have a dash in them. I guess that means that some items have these items selected and some don't. I'm not quite sure. But the checkboxes that do have a check in them, these were tags that I changed and that means that they will also display at the bottom of the finder window. If I uncheck any of these, notice that they also disappear from the bottom of the finder window, meaning they will be hidden. They will still be there, but they will be hidden. I can also take any tag and drag it into the favorites area, but only seven tags are allowed in the favorites area. So if I release this as I'm hovering over it first, notice that it's indicating which tag will be replaced if I drop this tag. So I'm going to leave it where it is for now. And I'm going to go ahead and check these boxes here. So they will also show up at the bottom of the Finder window. These three default tags at the bottom here, Work, Home, and Important, do not have a color off to the left. If I just click on the circle, it will bring up a menu where I could actually select a color. It would be a repeat color, but I could give it a color. If I right click on any of the circles, I can actually rename the tag, delete the tag, and still again add a color or remove the color. Now that I've renamed my tags and set my colors for my tags, I'm ready to tag my files. Let's go ahead and close this Finder window and start tagging a few files in some of my folders. After selecting a file, I can tag it by going to the Tag Edit Tags button here in the Finder window across the top. If I click on it, it will bring up a tagging menu and I can click on one tag or even several to tag this item. Then I'm going to click on a blank spot on my screen and you'll see the color circles directly to the right of the file. I can also right click on a file and bring up the contextual menu. I can click on any of the tag icons that will tag the file. If I go back and right click on it, I can also click on the word tags and that will bring up that menu where I can also add tags as well. Click on a blank spot to dismiss it. Now that I've gone ahead and tagged several of my files here in this folder, there are several ways that I can view the tags. Of course, I can click on the file and click on the Edit Tag icon and it will show me what tags have been applied. I can right click and it will show me the circles and if I hover over the tag circles it will give me the tag description. And I can also right click on a file and select Get Info. And in the top of the Get Info dialog box, 
it will show me the tags and if I click inside here I can also add more tags or delete a tag. So now that I've applied tags to my files, if I want to see files with only certain tags applied to them, for example, if I select the work tag here at the bottom of the finder window, it will bring up the files with the work tag applied to it. It's a great way to sort out your files, to bring up only the files that you need to see, a great way to organize and structure your files. Hope this is helpful. This is Sheeta Hunter. Until next time.